to another video. So I'm super excited to finally be sitting down to do this because one, this area that I film in has been super cluttered and so I haven't done a sit down video in a while and I finally cleaned it. So now my filming space is just so exciting and I got new glasses so I can see because my old prescription was getting really bad and my October Fairy Loop finally got here. So I've been really excited about this. It got shipped a little late. There were some delays. And then for some reason, even once it was shipped, it took longer than usual to get to me. Ever since I moved um, into the larger city that I'm in, my fairy lead has gotten to me in like three days and this took over a week, I think, to get to me. So like stuff's happening out in the postal world. I don't know, it just took a while. But it's finally, finally here and I've been so excited about this box because I have heard things. I haven't seen anything in it, but I've heard things like there's a new filling that they use that has some questionable reactions. Like people aren't really feeling the new like padding and that the book is so pretty. So I have been waiting to see this book in particular. So this is the October Fairy Loop box. I think it's called Wicked Hearts is the theme. I'm so excited. Okay, so, opening it. It's happening. You have the spoiler card with the art. So this is the art. I really like it. It's like creepy. It's kind of Halloween-ish slightly because it is the October box. So it's wicked hearts, you know, like woo spooky. And the uh, last year's October box was vampire themed, I think. So seasonal-ish. This is the new, ew, ew. This is the new padding they've got going on here. It's like, hey, it's kind of like hey. Um, it smells weird. It feels gross. Uh, supposedly it gets everywhere. I am seeing that. It like, it breaks off into like really little pieces. It's pretty gross. I was not a fan of their old packaging, and this one is interesting. It's got little fibers on me now. New packaging. I don't know. Apparently, it's supposed to be more eco-friendly or something. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's intriguing. It feels gross to touch. All right, so things that are in the box. What are these things on top? Wicked Hearts playing cards. I think that the last October box also had a set of playing cards because it's like the only set of playing cards I own. I don't play a ton of cards, but I do want to open this and take a look inside. Let's see. Early is my longest running subscription, you guys. I have tried various subscriptions, mostly planner and stationery related on and off for the past like two or three years. And Fairly was my first book subscription. And now I've been with them every single month, haven't skipped for over a year. I like it. It's not always perfect. Um, things have come like not quite in the best condition. I've had dings on books shipments have been delayed especially in the last few months but I like them I know a lot of people get upset about the um special edition books because as a subscriber you get early access to their special edition releases and those have been a mess recently um just like not enough stock for people lots of slight crashes and things like that I don't buy their special edition books because they're expensive like the special editions alone are expensive, which I get, it's a special edition, but they ship from the UK and I live in the US. So that tax on an extra like 20, $30 in shipping. And by the time you know it, like one book is $70 and I'm like, I'll get the regular version. Um, it's fine. The special editions that I get in the boxes are good enough for me. So that's not like, I'm happy with Fairy Loop because I think some of their worst um, like issues as a company, they don't affect me. So take that with a grain of salt. I can't open this. Uh, I'm working on it. It's like, 
I don't know why opening this flap is hard. It's just a box. It shouldn't be this difficult. I'm probably doing something wrong. Aha, did it. Ooh, look at that. So these edges are black. This is what the back of the face looks like. It's just a pattern. And then these are the cards. So I will kind of flip through a few. So they are foiled. They're silver foiled. Um, standard stuff. Now, it doesn't seem to be themed around a book. Maybe the face cards will have characters. I'm not sure. So the spades are silver. Is that a spade? I think it's a spade. Ah, characters. So this cat. These are not characters I know. This, this person. This other person. And then we're back to the like symbol cards. So the hearts are red and they have red foiling on them. And then I'm going to skip to the faces. So we've got this guy, this girl, woman, person, figure, this one. And then we're back. So silver again for the clubs. And then a fox. This person. I don't recognize any of these. Although Fairly does a lot. I'm like behind on a lot of the recent releases. So Fairly does a lot of things that I haven't read all the books. Which is fine. The art for its sake is pretty cool. All right. And then the diamonds are red foiled. So we've got red and silver foiling. This person. This one. And this one. I can't tell if those are the same people repeated or if each one is different, my facial recognition is not great. Um, if I don't know someone very well, it's really hard for me to distinguish them. Like watching movies, sometimes I lose track of who's who as like characters. So let's see. I don't know if this is inspired by anything. I will try to check the spoiler card without seeing too much. Foiled playing cards. So it's artwork from four fandoms. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Leventeller. So I have read that book. I will have to figure out what characters that is. Um, the Beautiful by Renee Audier. Okay, so I read that one too. <laughs> Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson and Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. So I have not read those last two, but there are two fandoms in here I should know. Let's look at this again. There is not a cat in the beautiful or the shadows between us so these characters i'm pretty sure i don't know there's also not a fox so it's the others that i should know nothing i got nothing i mean the if i were to guess the characters i should know it would be these three and these three. Based on their outfits, I got nothing. I don't know who they are. I don't even remember all the characters. <laughs> I know that there was like a main female protagonist in The Beautiful and she had like a love interest and then I don't know who the third man would be or the second man. And then for the shadows between us, there was like a main female protagonist. She had a love interest and I don't know who the third, or the third character would be. I'll move on. I've been here for a while. Okay. 
this little pouch thingy. In it, we have a pin from the Young Elites. It is my turn to it is my turn to use, my turn to hate. So I haven't read the Young Elite. I have started it. I love um, Marie Lu's Legend series, Legend Prodigy Champion. And then she just released another one, Rebel. I haven't read Rebel yet. But there's this, it's rose gold. It has a little fox on it and it's pretty. I really like the idea of the Young Elites. I'm pretty sure it's a super villain story. So like the character becomes a super villain or something, but I haven't read it. She has another series too. Uh, something about hackers and like computers. Salt and Pepper Shakers, Kingdom of the Wicked. And it says, by earth, moon and stone, bless this hearth, bless this home. Ooh, whoops, that's cool. I don't use salt and pepper shakers, really. Um, we have a pepper grinder and a little tin that holds the salt for easy pinching with like baking and stuff. But for like, I don't know, decoration, these are pretty. Ooh, they're like gold foil. They have gold foiling on them. So this is what one of them looks like. And then this is what I read on the box. So the by earth, moon and stone thingy. So this is a moon. And then this one is, it has a serpent on it. Those are cute. Not gonna lie though, I, I might give them to somebody who would really use them. Like they, this would be like a nice gift you know, because even if you aren't into whatever book this is, I, I guess Kingdom of the Wicked, I haven't read that. They're just pretty, like they're pretty all on their own. I like it. All right, next up is another box. Ooh, it's a puzzle. And it's Jax from the Caraval series. So this is a puzzle. That's fun. I might do this over Thanksgiving break. It is 100 pieces. So it's a pretty small puzzle, but it's pretty cute. Let me see. I'll open it to get a sense of the piece size. It's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, but my ability to estimate metrically is limited. If it had said some amount of inches, I'd know. I mean, that's less than like, it's less than 10 by 10 inches because an inch is more than two centimeters. So it's a small puzzle. It has a really nice box. I'm going to get it open. There's so many boxes I can't open in this box. Boxes and boxes. I'm gonna use my face. Okay, got it open. So you have a little puzzle guide that like tells you the shape of each piece. That's cheating. And then this little bag of puzzle pieces. They look like that. So like a pretty standard puzzle pieces, like size, they're just small because it's a small picture. It's a small picture and there are only a hundred pieces. This is cute. I love the box. I started to read the Caraval series last August. I think I got a hundred pages in and then work got really crazy and I did not finish it. All right, another thing, a pair of socks. I think I got socks last fall from Fairy Loot too. But this is kind of annoying so all these microfibers from the stuffing have stuck to the socks and I cannot pick them off. So that's unfortunate. It just says vampire hunter socks. Let's read some more things. So the salt and pepper shakers, 
the quotes are from the featured book of the month. The socks are just, they're just bookish socks. So they're just cute socks. They look like that. Um, oh, inspired by the Castlevania series, which is not a series I know. Okay, and then the tarot cards for this month, and I think I'm missing September tarot cards, but those are supposed to be in my November box, so we'll see how that works out. These are from some series. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, which is a book I have but haven't read. Isn't that the theme? So much I haven't read. I'm currently reading Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. That's a good time. Okay, and finally the book, which I'm glad it's in this case because, oh my god, look at this. It's disgusting. It's yucky. It's on the edge of my book. Yeah. Okay. So. Character art. I feel like I've seen this book around. Letter from the author. Fairy scoop. Wicked hearts. I don't want to see the book yet. This is a deleted chapter from the book, I think. And then the book. Whoa. So the first thing I noticed about picking this up is the black sprayed edges here and then the front cover, which like doesn't even have foiling on it. So at first I was kind of like, people really hyped up this book. It's cute, but like it's not fantastic but look at this edge look at the stencil sprayed edges oh my god that is pretty that's a fun touch okay then to open it whoa okay i get it now wow so first there's art on the inner dust jacket. Ooh, I'm excited for this book. But the naked book. You, like, look at this. Look at it. It's so shiny. I'm, wow. It's a whole person embossed on there. And then the side has foiling. And then this detail. Like, this alone is super pretty. The naked book is nice. And then, yeah, you got this Trump cover. Wow. It's pretty. I wonder what my favorite fairy loop book is. Like, just aesthetically. I'm not sure. I'd have to look through all of them. But this one's pretty. So I will read the little description. It says, two sisters, one murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. Amelia and her twin sister, Vittoria, have been inseparable all their lives. The Streth, witches who exist secretly among humans, as Streth, witches who exist secretly among humans, they know the dangers of drawing attention and, their, and work at their family's renowned Sicilian restaurant avoiding notice and persecution. But one night, Vittoria doesn't come home, and it's not long before the distraught Amelia discovers the body of her beloved twin, desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia vows to find her sister's killer and seeks vengeance at any cost, even if it means calling upon a dark magic that has been long forbidden. Then Amelia meets Wrath, one of the wicked, princes of hell she has been warned against since she was a child. Wrath claims to be on Amelia's side, tasked by his master with solving a series of murders on the island, of which Vittoria is the latest victim. But when it comes to the wicked, nothing is as it seems. 
And then on the back, there's a little thingy. It says, whatever you do, you must never speak to the wicked. If you see them hide, once you've caught a demon prince's attention, he'll stop at nothing to claim you. They are midnight creatures born of darkness and moonlight, and they only seek to destroy. Cute. I'm excited. Now I'm confused though. Spoiler card. Um, wait, the bookmark that has the art on it inside the fairy scoop. But here it says there are salt and pepper shakers, foiled playing cards, an enamel pin, bookish puzzle, bookish socks, and then it says. Hearts don't get more wicked than that of Kylo Ren from Star Wars. We're including a sheet of Kylo Ren stickers for you to enjoy. It has a signed book plate. I didn't show you that. But like, where are my stickers? Usually I see if something has been delayed or forgotten. I follow their various social media. So I don't know if this is just me or others. I will have to check out a few unboxings and see if other people got the stickers. That's upsetting. I was excited for those. I'm not, I don't like Kylo Ren. I hate, I, oh, his motivations. I don't like them. But I still like a good sticker, so that's unfortunate. I think that these salt and pepper shakers are my favorite thing in this box. They are so pretty. I love them. And then the stenciled etching on the, bo on the book is also really nice, but these are super cute. I really like them. I sort of like the playing cards. I think I like last year's better. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the characters. And I like, I prefer the more cartoonish art style. But they're all right. I'll definitely use them at some point. Everyone loves a good pair of socks. The puzzle's cute. But yeah. So, not bad, not bad. I'm excited to read the book. The November box is Enemies to Lovers, which is a super popular trope. So I'm excited to see what they do with that. We can expect items inspired by The Cruel Prince, Shatter Me, The Wrath of the Dawn, and A Song of Wraiths and Ruin and Angel Fall. Oh, with some things from Serpent and Dove and A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is going to be fun. All right, so that's it for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.